it's my honor to present our first ever Women in Green Forum Youth Trailblazer Award. In the spirit of encouraging the next generation of women into environmental career paths, we have created a Youth Award this year, and I'd like to share with you a bit of background on the first Women in Green Youth Trailblazer Award recipient, Mahuya Barua. Mahuya is a senior at Bravo Medical Magnet High School and the Los Angeles SoCal Youth Representative for the Alliance for Climate Education, ACE. Mahuya participates in youth environmental movement by informing fellow students about climate change and taking on carbon cutting measures at the head, as the head of her school's environmental club. Last year, Mahuya successfully guided her peers through both ACE's Biggest Loser Energy Competition by reducing carbon emissions, saving money on energy costs and encouraging energy efficient behaviour on campus. In the spring, Mahuya mentored students across Southern California who were competing in the contest by a regional peer-to-peer -peer conference calls, which she helped to organize and facilitate. Recently, Mahuya was recognized as a CBS Eco Media Earth Month hero and won third place in the Global Green USA's Citizen Entrepreneur Contest, for which she was given a youth ambassador position and a grant for $1,000 to help enact a ban on harmful styrofoam trays in her school cafeteria. Yeah. <laughs> She's accomplished a lot. This environmental leader has only just begun and it's a role that she hopes to continue through her life. So Mahuya, would you please join me on stage? Congratulations. Thank you. Say a few words. Hi, everyone. My name is Mahuya Barua. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be here today. I'm here be because climate change is a significant and emerging threat to everyone on this planet. This is an issue we cannot avoid or leave for the next generation to find a solution to. We must take responsibility now and bring about changes that can make a difference in this world. So as a freshman, I noticed many people at my school were not aware of changes in, my climate, in our climate. Although we had an environmental club, it was not active in bringing awareness to my school community. Students would throw away recyclable matter and administration use energy when it's not needed. Therefore, I wanted to make a change in my school by informing and encouraging everyone to contribute to the green cause. I decided to take action by becoming the president of Campus Vacation Club, which became one of Alliance of Climate Education's action teams, or ACE for short. My club's first event was to bring the famous ACE Assembly to our school with around 500 students. From there, we built the dot tree, which stands for Do One Thing, with over 100 dots collected from my school community. We also built a more efficient school-wide recycling program, posted lights off signs in all of our school classrooms, and we're currently planning to start a styrofoam recycling program for, with, for which we just won a $1,000 grant. The more projects we did, the more members became involved with my club, and the more excited we became to carry out further ideas. So one of our recent projects was the Biggest Loser Energy Competition, in which we had 20 teachers committed to track and reduce energy usage in the classrooms for three weeks. If they continue to reduce their carbon footprints for the whole school year, my school could save 22,478 pounds of CO2 emissions per year. This is the equivalent to the CO2 emitted by driving a car 23,173 miles, the CO2 emitted from running a light bulb for 166,500 hours, the CO2 sequestered by 263 tree seedlings grown for 10 years. Imagine how much CO2 we could reduce if all the high schools in Los Angeles were doing this. By participating, <laughs> by participating in this awesome competition, we brought awareness to our school administration, our staff, and our students about all the energy being wasted every day. We created habits of turning off lights and unplugging devices and reduce our school's energy and electricity bill. It is extremely difficult to start a new trend, but someone has to take the lead to bring about a change, and that someone could be you. All you have to do is believe that you can make a difference in this world. I want to thank you again for giving me this honor. And I look forward to participating in more environmental causes in college and beyond with all my fellow women in green. Thank you. Thank you. 